I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will take up two challenge questions on factoring. You will learn the extended skills of factoring. The two questions are factor fully x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 and x to the power of 4 minus 23x squared plus 49. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Join Anil Kumar classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now continue with the solution of the problem in hand. Now let us look into the solution of this particular question. Factoring x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1 and x to the power of 4 minus 23x squared plus 49. Well, as you can see, the normal practices, which is product and sum, really doesn't work. So, what can you do? Well, these are degree 4 equations. We can think like this. We can write x squared equals to y. In that case, the question changes to y squared plus y plus 1 and the other one will be y squared minus 23y plus 49. Now, if you write like this, you do observe that we have a perfect square at the end. What I am trying to say is that you have y square plus y in the center and here we have plus 1 and in this case we have y square and here we have plus 7 square. Do you see that? 1 square and 7 square. So that gives you an idea. That is that if I want to make this a perfect square what should I have in the middle? Well, I should have 2y here, right? And in this case, I should have, since this is minus, minus 2 times 7, which is 14y. But strictly speaking, I have 23y, not 14. So I could split 23 into combination of 14 and something else. What is that something else? That is what you have to think and this is the strategy to factor such trinomials of degree 4. You get the idea. So, let's see. Here, we have y and I need 2y. What can I do? I can add and subtract y to get 2y, right? So, if I add y and subtract y, I get 2y. So, that means I could think about y square plus 2y plus 1 square minus y. Now, you can see 2y minus y is indeed y, correct? Right? And in this case, applying the same strategy, y square minus 14y plus 7 square, 9y remains. So, minus 9y. So, that gives me a combination which is factorable and that is the strategy which we are going to use in factoring this particular question. So, I hope you have the strategy before you. Now, you can pause the video and then factor each one of them. I hope you appreciate it. Well, let me go forward and then you can check your solution. Okay. So, here is x to the power of 4, the first question which we dealt with. Let me rewrite this question here. We'll see how do we factor x to the power of 4 plus x square plus 1. Now, clearly, we can write this as x square whole square, right? And here we have plus 1, which is kind of 1 square, and we need 
2 x square here, right? 2 times x square. But we have only 1 x square. So, we could write this as 2 x square minus x square. The two statements are exactly same. Correct? So, as I discussed this strategy, the first three terms are perfect squares. Since you remember, what is a plus b whole square? a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, if you compare with that, clearly, we have managed to get a perfect square and this could be written as x square plus 1 whole square and we have minus x square right there. You get the idea. Now, this is difference of squares, right? Square of x square plus 1 and x square. So, we could write this as product of sum and difference, right? And this can be written as x square plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 minus x. And now, we have actually factor the given question. You get the idea. So, that is how we can factor something which was unfactorable with a trinomial of degree 4. Perfect? Let us try this strategy once again in our next question, which is x to the power of 4 minus 23 x square plus 49. So, see what we really did. We will split 23 into two terms, one being 7 times 2, which is 14, right? So, 14x squared minus 9x squared plus 49. So, I am using slightly different strategy, but it is the same thing, right? So, now I am again rearranging x to the power of 4 minus 14x squared plus 49 minus 9x squared. The three terms which we are talking about are these and they can be written as a perfect square x to the power of 4 minus 7 whole square and then we have minus 9x square. Now, we have difference of squares. I hope you remember what is a square minus b square which is a plus b times a minus b, correct? So, we could write this as x square minus 7 plus 3x and times x square minus 7 minus 3x. You can always rearrange once again and write it as x square plus 3x minus 7 times x square minus 3x minus 7 and that gives you the factored form. You get the idea. So, that is how we are going to do it. So, the strategy once again is complete the square. So, let us call this strategy is complete squares. So, that is what we use, right? So, in this particular case, we added x square and we subtracted x square. And in this particular case, we wrote 23 as sum of minus 14x square and minus 9x square. Simply because the term from here, 2ab, was 2 times x square. You get the idea because of this. And in this case, if you multiply two terms, we get 14x square, right? That's why we got this 14. Why these 2ab's? Because a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And in case this is minus, then this is minus. So, the minus works here, correct, and the positive right there. That is how we can summarize our learnings. I hope now the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. Join Anil Kumar classes by sending an email on the address given. Thank you and all the best.